Right, we're coming to the end of March. Wow, this year's gone quick already. But what has been going on in the Pokemon single market? Well, today we'll be taking a look at TCG Player, a bunch of big top hitter cards, and just see what's been going on with the prices. A lot of them have been climbing, to be fair, but some have been falling. Check it out. First off, we've got Giratina, the big boy. Now, of course, Lost Origin booster boxes are climbing incredibly fast in prices, as I found out firsthand myself the other day. We'll get to that in a future video but right now we're looking at the card itself the big boy giratina he is doing incredibly well let's take a look over the past three months this card has gone from 235 up to 280. we go back over the past year and this card is slowly climbing back up to where it was at 330 dollars that is absolutely crazy i mean this is such a difficult card to pull i mean we've been hunting for this card now since the set has been released and we have never pulled it never and I would say on the streams, we must have opened up maybe three, maybe even four cases worth, probably even more of Lost Origin. And we still haven't seen it yet. So it's going to be tough to find. And uh, we're not going to give up just yet. We're going to keep going until we find it. Same with the Moonbrion. We kept going until we find the Moonbrion. We're going to do the same with the Giratina. It is just the way it is. And this card, I think, will continue to climb. You know, with the seal boxes going up in price, you know, not getting reprinted anymore. It's been incredibly difficult to pull uh this is what well, i think this is now again the second most expensive card in the era behind the Murion. it's only gonna be a matter of time before it reaches back to where it was a year ago again this was after the reprints when lost origin got reprinted giratina went crashing down and lost you know a hundred dollars in value now it's gaining traction to be fair again and i expect it to climb even more okay one that isn't doing very well is the unknown v the alphabet soup from silver tempest now a lot of the what i would call medium to low tier all arts have been falling even further and we see this of course with the unknown we go back over the past year as you can see this card has dropped from 30 dollars down to 13 dollars now silver tempest did get reprinted alongside lost origin not too long ago and silver tempest booster boxes are on the uptick they are bouncing back quite well to be fair the lugia is falling uh, only a little bit but it's kind of like hold it fell and holding a bit whereas the unknown Rage Drago, you know, pretty much any alt arts from any of the other Sword and Shield era sets, like I said, that medium to low tier, like the ones that are around that $30 or less have been continuously falling, whereas the top end cards seem to be doing pretty well, like they seem to be either being steady or going up. So, you know, now's a great time to pick up some of these alt arts that you may be missing from your master set or that you just want to pick up that you don't have in your collection. This is definitely one of them. You know, like I say, Silver Tempest booster boxes are still relatively cheap. I mean, over here, you can pick them up for around about 110 Unknown is cheap. Great little pickup, but it is all in. And all the other arts are pretty much as well. Right, we're going into Evolving Skies. We are talking about the Moonbryon, but a different Moonbryon this time. We're talking about the Umbreon V, because this one has been doing pretty well. Let's take a look at this one. $103 it is on the climb. Now, one thing I will say is, in my opinion, I actually prefer this than the VMAX OR. I have the VMAX OR on the PSA 10. I don't have this in my collection, and I prefer this artwork. I always have done. Nonetheless, this is still doing very, very well. We go back over the past year, and this card nearly reached 100, and then it went back down to 80, and now it's gone above 100. And we've seen a couple of other alt arts from this set tick over the $100 mark, like the Dragonite, for instance, has now ticked over $100. A lot of the other alt arts in the sets, if you take, again, the top tier ones, so the VMAX alt arts, have been doing pretty well. You know, the Moonbryon, the Rayquaza, Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon, they've all been doing very well, and they've all been going up. But if you take a look at the uh, alt arts in the set that aren't the EV Lucians, Golurk, and things like that, they have actually been going down. So, like I say, the cheaper ones, great time to pick them up of course but i will say that the moonbryon well this moonbryon anyway it taking over hundred dollars is actually really really interesting but of course we'll have to wait and see how well it will go bond skies is reaching new heights i think it's actually the highest it's ever been and i do expect it to continue to climb if you do want to get a lot of these cards buy them as a single because i mean this is even a hundred dollars this is still a sixth less than a sixth of a booster box price of a booster box so you might as well just pick it up. Okay, we're going back to the Sun and Moon. We are looking at the Lily Full Art. This is the big, big top trainer card in Ultra Prism. The most expensive modern era trainer card. This card has been smashing out of the park for the past few years. However, 
in the last year really this card has been struggling so let's take a look over the past three months i mean it, to be fair still 423 dollars throw that out there it's still really really expensive but this card has been dropping from 460 down to 423 that's over the past three months we go back over the past year and this card is going back down to potentially where it was still up on the year of course you know it was 340 we talked about it time and time again really uh recently about last year being the big boom for the sun and moon era and everything's starting to subside which is interesting because this is happening to the booster boxes as well not just the big single cards from the full arts to the old art tag team they're all dropping in value from their all-time highs of last year and it's not like they're dropping a little bit they are actually dropping quite a bit going from 520 down to 423 it's dropped a hundred dollars in value that is pretty good but then again it did actually gain nearly 200 dollars in value before starting to drop it's interesting you know we'll see how things go i do expect this to continue to drop even though ultra prism is going up in value of booster box prices but we've seen it time and time again that a lot of these cards tend to fall and that's quite interesting a lot of the cards don't tend to match the price of the booster boxes the cards are going up usually as a rule the booster boxes are going up but at the moment the booster boxes are going up single cards big top hairs are falling like this lily all right we're going to be talking about the snorlax we're going to chin and rain we're not talking about the blaziken this time around we are talking about the golden snorlax again one of the big cards you can pull in chin and rain chin and rain booster boxes have reached new price highs is getting pretty pricey and the blaziken is going up in value along with it snorlax though no not really so let's take a look at the snorlax 64 dollars over the past three months this card has gone from 72 down to 64 we go back over the past year and this card continues to fall going from 85 down to 64 so it's dropped about 20 dollars that's actually a fair chunk uh this is not easy to pull it really i don't think we've ever pulled it we've opened up a lot this is not an easy card to pull children rain has really tough pull rates booster box again more expensive this card has fallen could be a good time to pick it up to add into your collection uh one thing i will be wary of is children rain does have really really tough uh conditioning on cards especially for the earlier prim runs but yeah i think it's interesting to see that we you know again we're seeing the top end cards going up moltres has been going up laser king's been going up this is the thing the third most expensive card in the set and this has been dropping so it's been doing the opposite to some of the other cards we've seen this isn't an alt art this is just a gold card so that might be another reason why that this is dropping compared to being how well alt arts are doing especially the top tier ones in other sword and shield era sets but nonetheless this snorlax is falling okay we're going across to the scarlet and violet era now we're looking at the roaring moon love this card from paradox rift Pull rates are not easy in Paradox Rift, but this card has taken an absolute pound in its value. So $55 for this card it has dropped from 92. We go back since the set came out and it was over $115. When this came out, this was the most expensive card in the Scarlet and Violet era. It beat the Ono, it was beating the Charizard from 151. It was interesting to see what's been going on with Paradox Rift. It's been heavily printed. A lot of this is around. Cards dropped be expected to be fair all of the cards in paradox rift have been dropping in value and they're a lot cheap this is the most expensive card in the set of 55 dollars paradox rift you can pick up booster boxes for like 90 dollars is one of the cheapest you can get in the scarlet violent era right now on a product around but yeah the royal moon's a fantastic card if you're missing this in your collection i would just go and buy it because it is just so cheap and to be honest it's like basically half the price of a booster box so yeah this is actually a pretty good one to add into your collection big card in the set it's interesting how much impact it's going to have on Paradox Rift in the future. I do feel like Paradox Rift might not be one of the best sets to, you know, so-called like invest into compared to the Scarlet Violet era because of the heavy printing and the value of the chase cards dropping. But uh, yeah, pretty rough. Speaking of not rough, um, we have Iron Crown. So we are going to talk about a card from Temporal Forces. The set has not only been out. I mean, as of recording this video, it's been out like a week. <laughs> All right. It hasn't actually been out that long. Of course, with single card prices, they usually tend to fall after the hype of the pre-release prices or pre-order prices. To be fair, this hasn't been the case for Temporal Forces. Tough pull rates and the set being printed a little bit less. I think that, that hasn't had an impact just yet. It's just mainly the pull rates. This card has been going through the roof since its release. I kind of feel like it was undervalued to begin with because this is, wasn't even the most expensive card in the set coming into the release of Temporal Forces. $101 right now. 
this card was 50 so it's doubled in value already and it's going to continue to climb i believe so this is a huge huge card it's been doing really well it was the iron leaves that was the most expensive coming out of the release and even that was only like 66 dollars crazy things are happening i will be doing a video in about a week's time going through uh the temporal forces stuff wait for the dust to sell to somewhat and let the prices settle a little bit because at the moment things are going all over the show pretty much all of the top cards in the set like all the special illustration rares have been going up so that's interesting this has been the one that's kind of surpassed everything and is climbing like crazy right now this is a big big money card it's going to be interesting to see where the prices lie in the future but nonetheless this is a big one there you have it guys that is what's been going on into some of the cards in the singles market right now obviously i'm not going to cover all of them but that's just some of them i've noticed that were climbing i thought oh, okay or some of them were dropping in price I was like oh okay that's quite interesting like the roaring moon dropping in value iron crown in it right now giratina on the up climb you know things like the the other moonbrion as it were doing very well in evolving skies and snorlax and chilling rain it's not doing very well and of course lily from sun moon ultra prism big big trainer card losing a hundred dollars or so in value which is a pretty hefty amount but overall across the board i do feel like a lot of these sword and shield era you know top alt arts are going to be doing very well over the next 12 18 24 months and beyond especially with availability becoming less and less and less and i think temporal forces looks to be a very very good set moving forward there's a ton of alt arts in the set all of my arts special illustration rares in the set that i absolutely love and i think are amazing but it's really interesting to see how well this set will do in the long run with the single card prices jumping up as much as they have been but if you made this fun of the video guys and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button and make sure you subscribe for more pokemon content and let me know your thoughts down on the comments about some of these prices about the giratina do you think it's going to go back up to above over 300 dollars? i think it will and what about the iron crown doing very well and do you think some of the lower tier o arts from the sword and shield era will they bounce back yeah we saw the unknown drop really low you need ten dollars will some of these smaller o arts bounce back i kind of feel like some of them will it depends how much buy but if you want to know what's been going on in the uk market then make sure to click on the video screen right now and if you want more pokemon content guys you know what to do make sure to subscribe button all right guys that's it from me in this video thank you all so much for watching as always you guys are the legends and i will see you all in the next one